In this episode, we're going to see the improvements in Topaz Labs version 2.2. Hello, amigos. Three and a half months ago, I showed you in this video how well the Noise AI 2.0 from Topaz Labs works. At that time, I showed you that within the two methods in the tool, AI Clear and the Noise AI, AI Clear seemed to work better and it gave me more consistent results. But in version 2.2, Topaz Labs has done both performance and stability improvements to both methods. They also added the ability or a new control for removing noise to images taken in low light situations. And they also added the ability to add a mask so you can control what parts of the image you want to apply the noise reduction. And that mask is similar to the implementation they did with Topaz Labs sharpen AI. So let's go to Lightroom and go see how well these new improvements work. Here we are in Lightroom. I wanted to show you the two images I'm going to use to test the improvements on Topaz in Noise AI. The first image is this one. It's very well lit. We'll use this image to test the advancements in the Noise AI versus the clear AI clear option that is available within the same tool. The second image is this one. It's very different, it's very dark. And in this image, we're gonna test how well the new low light mode works as well as the masking. So let's go back to the first image. So we have this image, it's, like I say, it's well lit. I decided to crop it and rotate it a bit. We made it a little bit more active here. You can see how much I cropped, about 50% or the original size probably, or not a little more. And then I rotate it to give it a better composition. And as you can see, this image has quite a bit of grain in the background. This image was taken at ISO 1600 because I was shooting handheld and I wanted a high capture speed, 1 2500th of a second, to be able to capture uh, the wings, uh, freeze the wings as much as I could. And like I say, this image has quite a bit of grain in the background, not so much grain on the bird and the flower. So let's take this image and go into Topaz Denoise. So we do edit in Topaz Denoise and we'll take us there and it opens very quickly. So here it is, I'm gonna move it down. The controls in Topaz Noise AI are the same, almost the same as before. Uh, you have the auto update preview. I'm gonna enable this one. For a small file like this one, you know, it recalculates very quickly. You just saw how well it works. But on full files, like the next image we're going to do, it can take quite a bit longer. So it makes sense to turn it off because it becomes a pain. Every time you move the photo or make a change, it recalculates and you have to wait. So we were gonna go to AI Clear. We had out of the text settings enabled. So the artificial intelligence within the tool knows how much noise to remove from the photo. So it selected law, Enhance Sharpness Law and Recover Details at Zero. Now let's see how well it did. As we move to the left, I can see still a little bit of noise in the background right here. Okay, uh, it's gonna recalculate. Oh, I don't wanna do that, move it back. Okay, I'm gonna move it around it did a nice job going around the head, although I can see a little noise in this part right here. And it did a really nice job in this part of the background, although I can see noise between the petals of this flower. So I'm gonna go now manually to medium. It's gonna recalculate. And this time, it did a really nice job removing the remaining noise about the wing Nice job on doing this area around the bird and really nice job getting between the petals of the flower. So this could be done by now and we could go back to Lightroom. But I want to see how well the Denoise AI works because in the original video I did a few months back, Denoise AI didn't work as well as AI Clear. So let's go to Topaz Denoise. We're gonna go to Automatic Settings and do Denoise AI. So it's calculating. And it did just five points or remove noise. Let's see how well it did the automatic. 
maybe not as well as AI clear. I can see quite a bit of noise still in this area right here and right here between the two wings. I think it did a really nice job around the bird. And did a much better job than AI clear on the flower because he was able to remove all the noise between the petals of the flower. So let's bump it up manually. Let's go to something like, I'll say 15 points. This time, I don't see any noise around the wings. I don't see any noise around the bird. It really did a really nice job. The background looks very clean. And it did a really nice job around the petals of the flower. So that looks very nice. I like the improvements. Uh, I'm going to bump the recover original detail a bit. I don't think it needs it. Let's just go something like five points. There's a lot of fine detail in the feathers of the hummingbird. It will recalculate and you can see the hummingbird looks really nice. So this image is basically done. I like the improvements that Topaz did with the Denoise AI algorithm. Relatively easy to use and very nice results. We'll save the image and we'll go back to Lightroom. Well, we're back in Lightroom and this is the image that came back. As you can see, it looks very nice and clean. This is the original image that we had sent that was very grainy, as you can see. And this is the corrected image that we brought back and I decided to edit it, you know, did a number of global and local adjustments, added texture and a little bit of clarity to the hummingbird, adjusted the tonality of the flower. And as you can see, this image looks really nice. So we started here. And after we removed the noise, we edited the image and we came up with this image with a very nice clean background and a lot of detail on the hummingbird. Very nice results from Topaz in Noise AI. So now let's do the second image. This is the image I want to test the low light mode. Something I forgot to mention when before when we went to the noise the first time is that Topaz recommends you use the tool right at the beginning of your workflow. And as you well know, Lightroom applies a default amount of sharpening to the raw images when you first import it into Lightroom. So to the prior image and to this image, you'll see that the sharpening amount is at zero because I had reduced it from the 40 points default that Lightroom has to zero before I went to Topaz Denoise. I forgot to mention that. So let's go to Topaz Denoise, edit in Topaz Denoise. Well, we're here. I'm going to put it at 100%, but I'm going to disable the auto update preview because I don't want it to update every single time. And I'm going to go try to have this scene where we have a little bit of the candles, this cabinet, the wall, and the Mexican flag. This image was taken at Notre Dame Cathedral in France. This is the Mexico Chapel. Uh, my wife and I were on vacation there and I took this image exactly one year before the cathedral burned down. So we're going to select the noise AI. We had the low light mode right here. We're going to turn it on. We're going to have auto detect settings enable. And now we have to tell it to update manually since we had the auto update disabled. So here it did a very nice job. It selected a very small amount of remove noise, 1% and 46 points of sharpen. Let's see how well it did. You can see here in this piece of furniture cabinet, this area looks very clean. This area here is very grainy. So overall, it did a very nice job. This bottom part, I can see it on my screen. The amount of grain on the left is higher than on the right. And on the Mexican flag, the whites and the reds on the right are a lot cleaner than the ones on the left where there is a lot of grain. So just the default settings, automatic did a very nice job. So I'm gonna bump up the remove noise a little bit more, maybe like five, six points. 
and I'm gonna tell it to generate again. Overall, again, the cabinet, very nice job. The Mexican flag looks really nice, very nice and clean whites and reds. So I think those settings are working very, very good. So now I'm gonna put it at 50%. I'm gonna move it and we have this window right here. We're gonna try the masking. I don't want the, the noise applied to the window just to test it out, okay? I don't think it's removing detail, but just to test the masking. So here on the top, there's a new selection called masking. Now you go to the bottom, it says mask options. It gives you the ability to fill a mask, to invert it, basically to have a black mask. I'm gonna fill it with a white mask. You can enable the overlay or disable it. So I'm gonna enable it and it's gonna give me a red overlay once I start painting. Here on the left, uh, we have the brush. You can paint to show, you can paint to hide. I was already showing, so I'm gonna paint to hide. You can have an edge aware brush. I'm gonna leave it non edge aware. You can adjust the radius of your brush right here. The softness and the opacity will leave 100%. And I'm just gonna paint to remove. As you can see, it's basically punching a hole on the mask in the areas that I don't want the mask applied. I'm gonna enable edge aware and now trying to clean the edges a little bit. Just trying to stay within the window. I mean, you can do a better job that I'm doing here. I just want to do this for illustration purposes. So let's say we uh, remove the noise removal from the window. Here on the bottom right, you see a small version of the mask. You know, the white square is the areas where the mask uh, is being applied. You see two dark rectangles. Those are basically the windows. I'm gonna apply the mask. I'm gonna tell it to update again. And it's taking a little longer because this is a full size image. And you know, it removed the noise. Now let's go back to Lightroom. I'm gonna show you how I edited this image. So we'll save. Well, we're back into Lightroom. It took in my computer about 15, 20 seconds to process the image. So let's review what we did. Here is the original image that had quite a bit of noise. Here is the clean image and I can blow it up. And you can see we don't have noise. I can now open the shadows and there is no noise showing up. I went the shadows, sorry, that was highlights. I'm gonna open the shadows to 100%. You see how clean it is. If I try to do that with the original image, you see how grainy it becomes. And now this last one is the edited image after we removed the noise. And it did a very nice job. I was able to balance the shadows on the back wall, add some additional light uh, to the flag, adjust the saturation of the colors on the candles. And overall, it came out really nice and with no noise. So overall, I think this low light mode in the noise is doing quite a bit of a good job. And I also like the ability to mask areas. Good job, Topaz Labs. Well, what do you think? I think the improvements that uh, Topaz Labs did work very well. The noise AI works much better. It gave me very nice results. AI is clear, continues to work very well, but the, the noise AI method, I think the improvements have been significant. I really liked it. I also like how they added this control for removing noise in low light situations. I think it gave me very good results. Now, there is the mask, just like the one they had in Sharpen AI. It's a nice to have. I don't know how many times I'll be using it, and I think the implementation feels a little kludgy to me. But anyway, uh, a nice to have, and at least you have the option of doing that. I hope you like this episode. Please take a couple of seconds to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Tell a friend or friends about this channel so we can add additional subscribers. And send me you know, comments or ideas for future episodes. See you next time.